for video two of radical expressions and functions, I'm just going to take you through how to pull up specifically the square root function on your calculator. So in the last video, we were looking to find out what the square root of 512 was. So if I want to go ahead and do that, what I'm going to do is hit the second key because I don't have an explicit square root key. So the square root is actually kind of buried in one of the buttons. Specifically, it's going to be on this x squared key right here. So it's right above the log button or next to your comma key here. So once I hit second and the x squared, I will see that I have my square root symbol. And from here, I can go ahead and type in 512. Notice that as I type those numbers in, the uh, square root symbol extends over that number. If at any point you want to get out from underneath, so if you want to leave where the radicand is located, you're going to use your right arrow key, and you'll see that now the cursor is out from underneath the root. At this point, we can go ahead and hit enter. And we do get, in this case, an approximate uh, solution. So we're getting 22.627417. Again, the decimal does not end here. It probably does continue on. It's just that we ran out, we ran out of room. So this is our approximate uh, solution. If I wanted to find the exact solution, I would need to use my prime factorization and do that by hand to see what could come out. Um, all right, so this wraps up this video. And if you do have any questions, please let me know.